Hello, my name is Scott for SB Gaming, and this is going to be a preview of Cook, Serve, Delicious. So, what is this game? For those who don't know what it is, it's supposed to be a restaurant management tycoon type game where you have customers who come into your establishment and order various foods off your menu. You have to prepare them, you have to serve them, you have various chores like dishes, bathroom, and trash that you have to deal with. But uh, yeah, anyway, so we are going to jump into this. This is pretty much a keyboard masher. It's pretty much limited to just hitting a bunch of keys to get the order right. So we are going to jump into things. And this just seems odd, you know, on PC where you have save slots, why I can only have six save files. This just does not make any sense. But uh, the game is configurable for a gamepad. And so you have various options here. But I'm going to go with mouse and keyboard. Unfortunately, for some reason, the developers never thought to have a volume slider. I actually have to control it from my keyboard. Fortunately, my keyboard has a... Yeah, a key a volume control <laughs> but you can either turn the music off or turn it on which is rather disappointing you can turn off sound effects which turns off everything completely apparently um, but uh, yeah so I'm using the high render and uh, yeah full screen anti-aliasing these are pretty much the options there's maybe a few other options like key bindings or something rumble option Okay, well, Leon, let's just uh, jump into this. And I have had a little bit of a bug where on certain screens, if I press the escape key, it just exits out of the game. Goes right back to desktop. No error message or anything. So that's, I'm going to have to remember, like if I go to here and I'm on this screen, if I press the escape key, it will exit out of the game. It will exit out of the game and I'll have to reload the game. So I'm going to make sure not to do that anyway. Let's just jump into things. So, welcome to Sherry Soda Tower. This historical building was once home to the luxurious Cook Serve Delicious restaurant, but has since been in disrepair along with the rest of the tower. However, the recent economy boom has filled the tower to capacity and the owners of the tower would like to reopen the Cook Serve Delicious restaurant and put you at the helm. You'll need to take this now zero star cafe and turn it into a five star world class restaurant. So first we'll need to learn the basics very quickly. But before we do that, we need to see how much you're willing to handle. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, yeah, let's cook. Choose a difficulty level. Standard difficulty is the norm for cook serve delicious, which can prove to be very difficult for many users. But over time, you will gain a great understanding in cooking food, perfectly serving many customers as you progress through your career, building your perfect menu, and winning various special events. Perhaps one day your skills will rise to the level of Iron Cook. It all starts here. And so there's pretty much a standard delivery for all players, or extreme difficulty for insane cooks. And, uh,. Yep, extreme difficulty is a nightmare. This difficulty level adds 50%. Buzz Forever gives you a $15,000 starting bonus, unlocks all secondary foods, starts with six prep stations, disables the munchies detractor, decreases customer patience, and introduces a new super rush hour. This mode is almost impossible. It'll likely destroy you. No matter what your skill level might be, do not choose this mode. Well, you know, uh, yeah, I'm just going to go back to standard difficulty and uh, we'll see how we do in this preview. Uh, for the moment though, uh, I don't know if I'm going to do this as a series, maybe in the future, but I just wanted to do a preview of this game that I picked up on the Steam Summer Sale. And so we are going to jump into things. All right. This is your main restaurant serving area. It doesn't look the best, but hey, you'll fix it up in no time. You can press the bottom right panel pause button or hit escape to pause the game at any time during the day. Yeah, given that I've just jumped into the game, I'm not sure if I want to hit the escape key. 
<laughs> anyway, click here to continue. To the left is your prep station, so I'm assuming it's this. You'll start with four, but earn more as you gain stars for your restaurant. You can take orders and serve food from here. So let's give it a try. Oh. oh. All right, I had uh, apparently this. Okay. Apparently this. Um, don't know what happened there. Um, it might have, yeah, anyway. So, this is a customer ticket. Press the number on your keyboard, in this case, one to start the order. You know, we can't apparently click on it. So, we're gonna have to hit one. You now have the corn dog order in front of you. The right menu shows which keys to press for wit ingredients, and the bottom ticket is how the customer wants the food made. Once you're done with the order, press enter to serve it to the customer. So, this is their order. It would be nice if it was up here, just because it's harder to look down here. You have your ingredients here, and it'd be nice if, yeah, if it was here, so that you can look like this. All right, these are the keys, these are the, yeah, but you have to go like this, so that's a little bit annoying. Anyway, this customer wants the classic corn dog, which is ketchup and mustard, so we have to hit K and M. We can't actually right now click on this, because this is just a tutorial and it forces you to use the keyboard. So we have to press K, mustard, to squirt some red and yellow, and press enter to serve it. That is basically the game right there. So I think I'm done here. No, no, I'm not done. Anyway, great job. There are three different types of satisfaction levels. Perfect orders, which are these in yellow, no mistakes, the customer's happy and will come back. Average order, which is green, customer isn't happy, mistakes were made, might not come back, and red is bad. Bad orders, customer's angry, doesn't pay, lots of mistakes made, won't come back. Strive for those perfect orders, click here to continue, and yeah, oh, we can click there, yeah. Anyway, you can also use your mouse to complete orders. So in this case, yeah, we can't actually press the keyboard since it's a tutorial. So we are just going to click that. Now try clicking the red keys. Yep, we can't use the keyboard so in this mode, so they just want mustard. So we are gonna click that and click that. So yeah, depending on what you feel more comfortable with, clicking on the screen or using the keyboard, you can use a combination of. But uh, yeah, click to continue. The burger requires you to cook the meat before preparing the food. Or use the keyboard to call up the order. So press one and put the meat on the grill. You have to press enter to cook the meat. And when it is prepared, I believe there's a blue outline. Burger's now cooking. You'll need to wait a few seconds for the meat to grill at the right temperature before serving. Once the order turns blue, it's ready to be prepared. Select the order too soon or too late and the customer will have raw or burned meat and will likely have a bad rating and we have to click there. So that shows you. Okay. I guess that's not a progress smear. Yeah, the blue outline indicates that the burger is ready for additional prepping. Click on it or press one on your keyboard. All right. So they want the original. They want meat, they want lettuce, they want bacon, they want cheese and tomato. And serve it. Great work, you've just completed a more advanced order. You can always set different keys for different ingredients in the key binding menu if you don't like this default controls. Yeah. You can also use a gamepad, keyboard, or yeah, gamepad. There are two types of orders that you'll find in Cook, Serve, Delicious. When an order is highlighted after cooking, it will require additional prep work. When an order is highlighted yellow, it requires no more prep work and is ready to be served. Simply select it to serve it immediately. So you click the number um, once it's yellow. Burned is, yeah, bad. You can only prepare one order at a time. However, you can serve yellow cooked served orders at, to customers immediately, even when preparing a different order. Simply press the number, click on the order at, to serve at any time. Click to continue. Customers won't wait around forever to have their food order taken. 
you'll notice that this food is slowly disappearing from the screen. If it goes away completely, the customer will leave angry. And yet there was no way for us to take that order. It was just indicating what, what actually happens. Anyway, there are also chores to contend with, but that's enough tutorials for now. You can always select practice chores in the tutorials menu to try out all the chores you'll need to complete daily. And with that, you just learned the basics of cooking and serving. Well, you really don't do any cooking since you're just mashing keys or using the mouse, but uh, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> great job. Now let's dive into managing part of Cook, Serve, Delicious, which is vital to ensuring customers are always flowing into your restaurant. All right. So what we have here, um, is it gonna let me gallery tutorials? Okay, this is managing menu. Yeah, from here you can control your food menu, buy new items, and a whole lot more. You'll work from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. at the restaurant. But then between each day, you'll come back to this menu and plan out your business. Next page. First, we'll need to buy some food to put on your menu. You have a starting budget that should allow you to purchase three to five foods out of the initial 20 that's offered. You can do that via the buy or view buy moods, moods foods menu. So these are what we have here. So there's some fried stuff, there's some corn dogs, some pretzels, some beer, some other fried stuff. We got soft drinks, we got, yeah, a whole lot of stuff. Ice cream, fish, yeah, about that. So next page, and you got boosters and tractors, and each food has a different bonuses and downsides, so when you're creating your menu, you want to take into those account. And yeah, you'll notice a few foods require a piece of equipment before you can buy them. Stove station allows you to boil up some pasta and soups with this brand new station. So you will need this in order to do soups and pasta. So about that. Uh, yeah, the equipment menu will be expanded even more once you complete your first day. All right. And yeah. So these are the various options for various foods. On the left of any food are a series of boosters or tractors. These are elements of foods that can help or hurt your business by bringing in more customers during the day or run them off entirely. Your potential daily intake of customers is displayed as a percentage called buzz from the lowest of 0% to the absolute max at 100%. Uh, buzz is vital in keeping customers. The higher your buzz, the faster customers will come through the door during the day. Perfect orders gain buzz for the next workday. Average orders add no buzz and bad orders subtract from your buzz. So yeah, you can get a uh, plus 80 positive bonus, you know, negative and uh, flex buzz. And yeah, anyway, once you've bought food, you'll need to add them to active menu. The active menu is a menu board for that your customers will be able to order from during the day. You can serve up to six, although you only start off with, I think, four. Well, maybe not, actually. Anyway, you must plan out your menu each day to balance out which foods gain the most buzz and which combinations work the best. Some foods, boosters, and detractors only allow you to serve them for two days straight before causing bad buzz as customers always crave new items and some stay fresh forever. Last page. And those are the basics. So yeah, let's uh, go to the main screen. So this is, uh, do I have to read this? No, 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 no. Uh, we're back. Good luck on opening day. I just want to congratulate you on your opening day. It always feels so overwhelming, doesn't it? I know that you will you have the chops to run a successful business. So at least you are have some sort of confidence in me. I don't know. Um, anyway, let's uh, just uh, jump out of that. So we have view, buy foods. So yeah, these are the various things that we can buy. And let's, all right, we sopapilas. That's what those are. Taste, uh, taste of delicious with this Mexican fried treat. Your order comes with frozen pre-cooked sopapilas. Just dip them in your fryer and serve. There's very little prep work necessary. The customers love the sugary blasts of hot, crunchy tortillas. Don't leave your customers craving sweets. Order today. 
and you can with all these menu things you can try them out I'm not going to because I'm going to go to beer cold beer cost you a thousand dollars you said it started with a 7500 it gives you five dollars that's the cost on the menu so every customer who orders this will pay you five dollars and it is upgradable to two stars I believe potential foods are up to five stars so there's nothing quite like an ice cold brewski and now your customers can enjoy the simple pleasures of delicious beer straight from the tap enjoy the hops classic taste and with its foamy top and bubbly middle with classic style ice cold mug thirsty customers and unsatisfied customers order today oh yes indeed so we're going to try beer out because this is relatively easy And so we have here, beers are easy to fill, but tricky to make exactly perfect. Fill up the glass until you get a nice foamy top, overfill the mug, and you'll have a foamy mess resulting in an average order. All right, we'll take on the order. And so you basically hold down the down key. Basically, you want to get to, oh, we, uh, yeah. That was not a, such a satisfactory order one and it's all about timing there's a perfect beer oh yes indeed let's uh, do another one oh there's another perfect beer how about another one yep let's pour and the better timing you get obviously the uh, faster you can get them done so beers are pretty easy we'll just press the escape key to exit with that unfortunately it didn't drop me out of the game so that's another thing. Anyway, I am going to purchase beer because it's relatively simple and straightforward. Generally, what you want to have is a couple items that are really easy, one that's more challenging, and a few in the middle. So these are the bonuses and detractors. So for instance, staple food, it will remain fresh on the menu forever. So it's a popular one. It's perfect for catering. It makes a great late great late night meal have this food on the your active menu for an immediate plus five buzz bonus for late night chow green tech this food has little to no tr increased impact on dishes trash or rodents so that is good oh yes you have to set traps for yeah rats simply food a generally easy food to make with only one to five recipes and little prep work to do unfortunately work liquor Liquor served in an office tower like this one is generally frowned upon for some reason. I guess this is not a government building. <laughs> yeah, you have to be drawn to work for the government. Um, anyway, we're going to uh, purchase it. Click to confirm. All right. <laughs> Next up, we can try... You know what? I just might go beer what does ice cream require us to do we're gonna try this out these are all the detractors so fatty mcfats plate spinner uh yeah increases the number of dishes never tip munchies they're not ordered during rush hours that's fine always raining fresh on the active menu so that's good catering and raining companion we're gonna try out ice cream Ice cream is a delicious dish that can be very easy to quickly execute. You need to place at least two scoops at first before adding any toppings. So, he wants two chocolate scoops with sprinkles. So, press two C's and sprinkles. There we go. Next up, we got plain vanilla. Three vanilla scoops. Oh, you're going to hardcore there. Three of them. There you go. Have a good day. Next up, three chocolate scoops. Three C's, that's good. And two vanilla scoops with a cherry, so VV H for cherry. And next up, one scoop of vanilla and chocolate. Oh, you are going with a variety. Two vanilla scoops with a cherry, so VV H, enter. If you get used to where the keys are on your keyboard, if you have that uh, ability, three vanilla scoops, the keyboard can definitely be um, much easier to 
control. Must be. Oh, you can. Oh, I see. So for this, we can like try out different recipes. Oh, I, I saw that in the corner of my eye. So yeah, I'm going to do ice cream. Purchase. Now, what goes well with beer and ice cream? <laughs> Let me know down in the comments what you would, you, what you would have with beer and ice cream. And from what I understand, you need at least three items on your menu before you can start the day. And I might check out steak. Oh yes. Although I'm going to try it out before I buy it. This, it does cost a little bit of money. So steaks are unique in that they don't have any noticeable identifiers as to what seasonings you've already placed on raw, the raw steak. So you must focus and remember which toppings you've already done or risk over seasoning the steak. <laughs> Oh, he doesn't like it. All right, so citrus steak. Oh, this is, or classic steak. Seasoned three times with one juice, please. Or once seasoned, twice juicy, and one serving of citrus, please. Once seasoned, twice juicy. Okay, so once seasoned, twice juicy, so JJ. And one serving of citrus. Enter. And we have to wait for it to cook. And yeah, this is going to take a little while, so. <laughs> Alright, one. Oh, and that's a perfect order. So we are going to go to the other one. Classic steak. Season three times with one juice, please. All right, so seasoned and that. Oh, no. Um, yeah, that one's going to be uh, wrong. So about that. And we're just waiting for the meal to be cooked. This is going to take a little while. Uh -oh. All right, that is ready to go. Although, yeah, he didn't quite like it. Classic steak, seasoned three times. So one, two, three with one juice. So J, there we go. You know, it'd be nice if it gave us a second order just so that we can do something else while we're waiting for it to cook. But this is one of the things that where you can do, you can prep and then you can go to other tasks and then come back to it and stuff like that. And yeah, let's, uh, all right, so I'm not sure about that. That's, uh, for now I'm going to, yeah, come back to this menu and we are just going to take a look at corn dogs. You know what, corn dogs. Let's try this out again. I think I've already tried it out though. Yep. So just ketchup please. Yeah, yeah, ketchup and mustard. Don't have to worry about that. That's no problem. So. You know what, for now I'm going to, oh, bother. So what I'm going to do is purchase corn dogs. Click to confirm. We have $5,400. And I'm going to go back to, well, we can do key bindings. So we can select and you know change what these are. If we want to reconfigure it to make it more sense for us. And yeah, let's just go back to foods and specialty foods. Oh, interesting lobster. <laughs> let's try the lobster out. Let's just see what this has to do. Lobster is a fairly easy dish to prepare. Just boil the chilled lobster and make sure how you, sure you have the proper sauces available. The cooking time for lo lobster is quite long, however. All right, boiled, boil chilled lobster. L to cook. So yeah, it's a little bit. Actually, no, it's a little bit faster than. Oh, one cup of butter, please. And yeah, there we go. So that's not too too bad. You have to prep it. 
by throwing into the water. You have to wait for it to cook. And then you have to give them butter or nothing. Nope. Let's uh, press one and two cups of butter. Oh, you are. Oh, yes, indeed. There we go. So that is lobster. Although, yeah, I don't even have it available. Yeah, two stars required. I can't even. Why did I go there? <laughs> Anyway, so at this point, yeah, I could I could do wine, but uh, I you know what I have I have three of them. I'm good. I'm good. S start a new day. I must have three menus, three food on your active menu. This is the active menu. So we're going to put corn dogs, beer, and yeah, click and drag a food to add to the active menu. So that is all that we have. We can yeah we have four to start off with. We can add two more. Anyway, we can start a new day right now, but at this point, I think this will be the end of this preview of Cook, Serve, Delicious. If you would like to see more of this game on this channel, let me know down in the comments. Hit the like button. But uh, other than that, uh, I just wanted to jump in the game, check it out, see what it was all about. I did play a little bit just to get feel for the controls, so I had a understanding of what you had to basically do but yeah for the most part it is a keyboard masher where you have to pay attention to the the orders given in a sense it's kind of like no it's not really like uh papers please but uh anyway that is it for me today thank you for watching this episode of cook serve delicious my name is scott for sb gaming and as always have a good day